if I had to start over in IT and learn everything again from complete scratch, this is exactly how I would do it. First, if we're getting into IT, we're going to go into some foundational courses. This is going to help set the foundation of the, the an IT knowledge that you need to perform basic tasks, understand what you're actually doing in IT. For example, knowing what a computer is, what some of the networking devices is, knowing basic networking, basic security, also learn more about operating systems and such. So one of the first choices of courses that I would probably pick would be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. The Google IT Support Professional Certificate is a certificate that is relatively well known and it is relatively cheap it's about fifty dollars a month and depending on how many months you do it it can take up to for me it took four months it could take from one to four months so it could be anywhere from fifty dollars to up to two hundred dollars depending on how long it takes one of the downsides is it is a longer style course but if you want to learn everything that you need to know from scratch and you have a lot of time to do so that would be one of the methods i would use because it does teach you a lot in the courses but along with that it also goes with one of my later steps um you get 30 percent off the CompTIA a plus exam Exam. That's another benefit of completing the Google IT support professional certificate. And along with that, it also gives me something to add to my resume after completing it. If I didn't want to get in as in depth as the Google IT support professional, a certificate that I would recommend would be the course careers IT uh, certificate course. It's a little more expensive, definitely more expensive than the Google IT support one because you do pay more at once. The course was made by a well-known IT and cybersecurity expert named Josh Matacor. He is on YouTube. If you you've probably seen some of his videos if you've been around but the the course itself is definitely more lab focused and goes over the more day-to-day -day it tasks it doesn't go as in depth as the google it support professional but it does teach you some of the stuff that you need to know and it also tries to prepare you for the actual job market so comparing these two certs would be something that i would do and based on what i need the most i would pick one or the other if i were trying to save money the google it support would probably be the better choice but if i wanted to get a job and get it faster the course careers one might be the better choice but it really depends on my scenario the google it support professional certificate is was uh, free for the first week and then after that it is 50 dollars a month if you're interested in the course careers it certificate there's a link down in the description below the first module of the introduction of help desk is actually free so if you want to try that out for free go ahead and do so if I didn't have any money to spend or very little money to spend, I would go for some of the free courses on YouTube. You can look up how to use a computer, how to get into IT. There are some playlists that have like 20 videos, a, a bunch of videos that go over everything you need to know in IT, especially another one I'll list is uh, Professor Messer's A Plus course. The a CompTIA A Plus is a really wide range of IT topics, very basic IT topics. His course would pretty much teach you everything you need to know for that exam. All the things that are in the exam are things you would probably need to know in some sort of job role or at least some of the stuff from the exam. But one of the benefits of taking a YouTube course is that it would be absolutely free. And if you're someone who doesn't know if you actually want to get an IT, this might be the choice for you. However, it might not be as useful as putting something on your resume because a YouTube course probably isn't as reputable as a certificate course or things like that. So that is one of the downsides. But like I said, it is free. So there's no really big downsides compared to spending money and things like that. Um, the last one I'll list here is some Udemy courses, uh, more specifically Udemy A plus courses. Um, once again, more specifically is Jason Dion's A plus courses is what I would personally use if I wanted to learn from scratch. They cost about $15 on a discounted price. Never spend the full price on Udemy courses. I'll have a link down in the description below for a discounted Udemy course. But Jason Dion's a well-known certification training coach, so you'll also you'll learn all the things you need to know for that 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 specific certification. But you can also use some of that knowledge for other IT needs. And it's also one of the cheapest options on this. After doing one of these certificate courses, or even while I'm doing them, to be honest, I would do this while you're doing any of these courses: is complete a resume and make an actual resume. This is a very important step. Uh, make sure it's a good resume and actually use uh, ATS trackers, which is pretty much a way to parse and automate the like readability of your uh, of your resume so make sure your resume is a good resume there's a lot of you videos on youtube on how to make a good resume but along with that you want to make a linkedin page with everything that is on that resume because a lot of employers do use linkedin and look on linkedin to see who each person is and if you have your name on your resume they'll go on linkedin searching for your name and if you're not there sometimes they'll just completely skip you Along with that, LinkedIn's really good for networking. So I would start networking with some recruiters, maybe people I know from past jobs, from school, things like that. Anybody that I've known prior to add on my LinkedIn. While I'm doing these courses, especially the course careers uh, certificate would probably be the best for this. I would put any projects that I do in the certificate course. 
um, even in the A plus courses, if I do any home lab stuff like that, or the Google IT support certificate where I do some of the exams and some of the projects they have, I'll put that on my resume. If I had any customer facing experience in the past, even if it's like, uh, you know, a cashier at a grocery store, I would try to market that as something that is more catered for, to a customer facing position because IT help desk is very customer facing. Usually at least it is. Um, but showing any customer facing experience, whether it's in you know food service or retail, anything like that, I believe that it will help make you look better in on a resume. Now, after the resume, you want to start applying the jobs, even though you might not have any certifications. It's always good to keep applying regardless because you may get a call back. You might get interviews. You're reaching out to more people. You should always be applying whether you're about to take a certification or if you don't have a credential, or if you have certifications, you should always be applying for jobs. And, and what comes with that is improving your soft skills. Um, you also want to come up with a cover letter, make sure your communication skills are good in case you do get an uh, interview. Communication skills is more so for the interview or reaching out via email. In your cover letter, you want to make a good impression of on the hiring manager. Talk about any of the coursework that you've done, your passion for IT, your willingness to learn in a position like IT help desk. Coming up with a plan for applying is also pretty important. The course career cert does do some of this. It gives you a plan to apply for jobs, um, but there's other ways you can do it. Setting up a spreadsheet of all the jobs you're applying to just to keep track of the of your numbers and how many uh, callbacks you're getting, things like that. Now we're in the getting certified category of this video. I would go with the CompTIA A plus after doing some of those things I've talked about prior, especially if I took the Google IT support professional because it does give you the 30% discount. If I have a student email, I believe you can get even more of a discount um, but I'd probably use the Udemy courses because they're really cheap. Um, they're about $15 at most. I'd buy the practice tests from Jason Dion as well um, for both of the exams because the A plus is two exams. I would study for those with Udemy and any other YouTube free learning that I could use and take the A plus exam. Hopefully if I pass that, I can add that to my resume because a lot of people have their A plus certification and it also is sometimes expected to have if you're applying for some of these jobs. Now, after doing all that, I'll probably have a better understanding of what I actually want to do in IT outside of help desk, even if I want to pursue help desk more. But let's say I want to do networking, system administration, cloud computing, cybersecurity. Those are all different pathways you can choose in IT. Hopefully, I already got some callbacks about my applications already for the IT help desk jobs. Might even have a job by now. If not, we can still follow this pathway. But even as you're applying and you're getting these jobs, you want to keep continuing to learn in IT. That is a thing that uh, hiring managers love to see is that you're progressing and you keep and you're learning more and getting more credentials as you go on. I, that's very attractive to employers. So let's say I wanted to dive deeper into networking. I could take the CompTIA Network Plus, the CCNA, the CCST, something like those certifi uh, certifications that were uh, are definitely more industry recognized. CompTIA Network Plus is a little less technical in the networking side of things than the CCNA is. If I wanted to go more of the cybersecurity route and get some cybersecurity certifications, I would obviously say go for your ISC2 certified in cybersecurity certification. Main reason why is that it's free to take the exam. You pay 50 bucks after taking the exam if you pass, only if you pass. So if you fail it, you don't lose anything. If you pass it, you get a you get a certification for 50 bucks that is recognized by employers because ISC2 is the same company that has the CISSP, um, which is a very, very high level cybersecurity certification. So I would take that exam because there's nothing really bad to come of it. Um, along with that, the CompTIA Security Plus would probably be after that cert cert certification. I personally did that exact thing. I took the Certified in Cybersecurity, then the Security Plus. And if you want to go even further in cybersecurity, maybe the CYSA Plus, the Pentest Plus, the Blue Team Level 1 certi uh, certification. And lastly, if I wanted to go more of the sysadmin or cloud computing route, I would do the AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals. Then I'd probably do the AZ104, um, which is after the AZ900. If I did go, wanna go, want to go to the uh, Microsoft route, you could also do the AWS Cloud Practitioner. A lot of these cert certifications are cheaper than the CompTIA certifications because they're more vendor specific. Um, they're usually no more than $200 for these certifications. So they're pretty cool to get. And they're also pretty cheap to study for because sometimes they provide some of the study material and you can also purchase some for cheap on Udemy or take free YouTube courses. Then after the certifications, obviously I would keep applying, keep applying, keep applying and move my way up in IT. So if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Comment down below if you have a different pathway that you would do or how you would 
um, if you had to start over, get your first IT job. Thank you guys for watching. This is James E. Tech. Join the Discord down below if you guys are interested. If you want to further help out the channel, consider becoming a member on the channel by pressing that join button. Thank you guys for watching. This is James E. Tech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.